Okay, it looks like it's unshriveled now. Now we're gonna goop it up. Should mix really good with that water content. Yeah. Problem with this gasket is so thin. <laughs> Easy to tear. Gotta be careful. Hard part's gonna be getting off the gasket board. <laughs> Hole in the middle of all four. That's a bull hole. No wonder it doesn't matter where it is. <laughs> what the hell is that hole for? It ain't there. There's no oil gallery there. All right. Rotate if we can get to the keyway. And all of this stuff is kind of time sensitive. gasket it's being held by the pump flat so it doesn't tear it on. If you try to put the gasket on the block first it would want to tear and wrinkle and you'll probably tear it before you got it all the way on. Okay, now the problem we got right now is, is we have all of this stuff in the way to get to that. And we have this we got to put in there. We have low visibility. Everything else is fighting us. So, <laughs> and I got to sneeze. <laughs> hey, excuse me, twice. So I'll see the keyway right there. So I'm gonna try to get the mm -hmm. try to get this key in there. See this setup's really difficult because you don't have the open slot. The other one you put the gear on it and then you put the slot on your right, phone. You can slot it in. This one here is gonna be almost impossible to do like this, but I'll give it a try. Because we're gonna fight the worm gear. Everything else. take the flattest part this looks like it's pretty well equally radiused 
I think this side's a little bit better, so you know, this side. The worm gear is going to want to rotate since we're trying to get it to go on, but we don't want it to rotate. So put the crank up here where you got access to rotate it. And this one's going to make it really difficult. Let's try to put this on straight. And we're fighting everything. And that's the key already came off. Okay, I'm going to have to rotate backwards to go up. Okay. You see the key in there kind of half off right now in there? Mm hmm. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to push on it. Try to find a sweet spot. Get it all off. Better? Not really. So this is extremely difficult to do it this way. I'm completely blind. Not gonna help. I can't see. Even with light, you can't. It's hard to do it. Without light, you ain't never gonna get it off. So. Let's zip it off. We're gonna zip it all off. So I got access, but I can only do it. That's why I never put the pinning gear on until I'm ready to do it. I'm going to do that big thing. Put it in the way. That wasn't tight anyway. I wasn't sure if it was anyway. Half inch socket. I thought that was on there more or less for mock-up. It was. So instead of fighting it and fighting and fighting it and getting frustrated, just take it apart. Get the chunk out of the way, that's the problem. Could be that part. <clears throat> now you rotate this thing up until you've got access to do it correctly. It's still dark. Now you can slide the damn gear on there correctly. Yeah, it's light now. And the other way. You know, see how the key is trying to go down the hole out there? Yeah. That would be a problem if it went down that hole. He was trying to do it the other day for me too. Yeah, that's what they do. They like to go in places where you cannot get to them. So this is why they don't make these shelves like this anymore. They are painting the house to do. Okay, but now it's gotten a lot easier because now I don't have to fight the crank. I still have to fight the key. Beautiful. Okay, now we can put this on all the way. Of course, I'm going all the way. I don't know why that's going on so hard. It should just go right up, up in there with no problem, but it's not. I think we had tight galpins on your motor before. Maybe it was when you uh, punched down the um, full bearing, because we strained up with those those galpins last a while ago. Yeah, well, I thought we had the galpins working before, but it's all right. 
And they got tweaked though. We hit that ball bearing. It's all right. We can make brass punches for. Brass doesn't really damage cast iron too much. You still want to refrain from hitting on it, but uh, now we have room for a snap ring in here, mm -hmm. which you obviously don't have right now. I do. You do. Oh, what the it's right there. Where'd that come from? This handy dandy package. A handy dandy package from James Gaskins. Mm -hmm. ah. Oh, there's a new key we could have used. We use those experienced ones that we knew were good. All right. Okay, snap ring. That's the radius side. That's the sharp side. Sharp side goes out. So it digs in. 90 degrees pliers really helps this a lot. These are very easy to overstretch. Which means you get to redo them. You don't go any more you have to to get them on there. Damn, that's a big stretch. Light. Light. Okay. Push on it. If it's tight, like this one is. See how it doesn't want to move? Mm -hmm. That's good. We know the key is right in this area, so I want the, the top is on the straight up right now, so the key can't come out. But on this one, the key can't come out anyway because it's inside the gear. On the other shaft, it can come straight out. Okay, so. This shaft has a very tight slot in it. Definitely, they're getting tight. Okay, so now, there's our lock washers. Yeah, there should be eight, six lock washers. I think they're in here. There's two bins. Yep, there's some in there, I see them. Ooh, look at that lock washer. Thank you. We don't want the skinny one, we want the fat one. And you do have six, so we're using all six of them. The correct ones are the flat ones like this, but they're, they're relatively thin. Not that one just yet. Okay. Move on my fingers. Okay, where's the cover at? Okay, the cover's already snotted. The gasket's already snotted, laying over here vegetating. Now if I touch against that, it'll stick right to it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it over here. And then put this onto that and just push it in. Sometimes this nut gets in the way. I don't think it goes that way. Nope. But it's stuck. <laughs> See, gas good goop. Mm -hmm. It's a one time application. It sticks like that. What'd you put on upside down for? I didn't know. I know next time though. Yes, I've done that twice today. So you mean that four and a half hour sleep I got wasn't enough? I yeah, mean a little hour and a half more. That might have had something to do with it. Or maybe I'm just stupid today. That's probably what the problem is. Or I want to make good videos to show how not to do it. Right. Like it's planned. Right. I'm trying to be a dumbass like everybody else. So that's what Just I'm be one of us. Yeah, that's what it was. Sounds like a good one to me. That's full of shit. <laughs> there we go. 
Now what do we do? Now we recoat it. Exactly. Ideal for race bike, but it's a little bit thick for oil pump gaskets. So this will re solidify the stuff that's half dried. I'm gonna go straight on or just let it tack up for a second? I'm gonna put it straight on. The correct way. Maybe the correct way. Just to be different. Mm -hmm. I like that thickness for my race bike, it's good. See, I don't use gaskets for yeah, my no race gasket bike. Yeah, no gasket, though, right? So, nice thick layer of gasket grip is perfect. That thin, runny stuff doesn't work very well. <laughs> Especially when you talk it down. <clears throat> All right. Lock washer, lock washer. Lots of lock washers. Okay, where's that tall nut go? Right here. Why does it go there? For clearance for the oil return line. So you can get to the nut. It's above the top. But you notice the fitting's not in there. If the fitting was in there, you still can't get to it. <laughs> still a pain in the ass. That's a crappy looking nut. Put these up here. All right. Stick them on the fingers. to the inside. Don't lose the key over there. Okay, it's on the worm gear, so now we're engaging the key, we're engaging the teeth. You hold it and let the crank turn forward direction, it goes right on in there like it's supposed to. And we notice how it's rotating freely. Yes. So I'm going to put more torque on these over here now. Checking. Going to be nice and free still. It's tight. Pretty tight. Seems to be rotating freely. So that's good. If you want to know how free it really rotates, if you go backwards, the gear comes off. Rotate your fingers. If you can rotate your fingers, you're good. So even though we tighten up our gaskets, we have low clearance. We do have clearance. We're full torqued, and it's not binding. Right. Now, if it's binding right now, you got a problem. You got to take it apart and find why it's binding. Mm -hmm. That's why you re pre checked it with a dry mock up. Now with the gaskets and all the goop and everything, this is going to settle probably another thou, especially as the water dissipates away and all that. So we'll come back re the next him. time is we'll retorque this again, make sure it's full torque, because it's going to move a little bit because all that goop and stuff in there. Sure. And definitely because of gaskets with the water and stuff on there. Sure, of course. So we're good. 
So that's how you do that. So that's pretty good. So now I go ahead and put this back on there. Find a spot where it engages a little bit. Not on the key yet. There it is. So it just sucks it right in there. Mm -hmm. That's why the spacer here doesn't make any difference because it doesn't really do anything. Only if you're going backwards. Right. Now, I don't know how many people ride their motor backwards, run it backwards, but that is not the direction it normally wants to run. It does happen when you're kicking the bike over there on the big cams and stuff. Mm. A lot of ignition weight, things like that. But not enough to. But in a normal application, it will not do that. <clears throat> Yeah, that key you don't want to beat on with a hammer. You need a pair of channel locks on it. So you want to get this key all the way installed. Okay, a little more down and get to it like this. That key does not want to go in there. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we got a little bit deeper this time when we install it. Channel looks for holding your fingers when they pinch them. He does not want to go on the shelf. It's a little bit on the fat side. Trying to get a spot to work. Okay, can you hold the crank right there so it rotate down? Absolutely. I'm getting here my pliers correctly. Okay. See, I got more torque when it's in the spot I can get to. Mm -hmm. So it's all the way in there. You don't want to have that sitting way up in the air and let the gear put it on because it might bind up real hard. And <coughs> you'll be tight on the key, but not the crank. Right. And then it'll kind of wobble. I see I doesn't want to go in there a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you lightly tap it. Here we got kind of hard. So I can stop. Hit on that too hard, it will chip the teeth off. That doesn't work. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Maybe we need the attachment. Other one. Need the correct one. This is backwards too. The correct torque is when it quits tight. moving. When it quits moving, <coughs> it's tight. If it still keeps sucking in there, it ain't tight. It has to go all the way in. 